Hey, hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I build a website for my new company, Garage Filmmakers. Uh, if you've been following me online, you've probably already heard about Garage Filmmakers, and that's because uh, they're actually not really a new company. They're a company started by my friend Daniel Ruan. Uh, he's a director, filmmaker, cinematographer, and I, I've collaborated with him on a lot of different productions and with his company. And now we're kind of joining forces, so I'm basically officially part of Garage Filmmakers, uh, and I want to promote the company. Now the best way to promote yourself is you first have to have good quality work to show off. Once you have that, you want to have a way of showing it off. So you definitely want to be on all the social media, but at the end of the day, you really do need to have your own dedicated website, somewhere where you can always send in your potential clients to look at and kind of have one central place where they can easily find your social media accounts, but also where they can find your, you know, let's say if you're an artist, painter, uh, in this case, we're doing music videos. We want to show the actual music videos we've produced all nicely organized in one place. Now to build this website, I'm going to use Wix.com and I've actually used them before to build one of my other personal websites. They make it very convenient with all the templates that they have, uh, which means that I don't really have to know anything about HTML coding. It's very actually visual uh, in terms of building the website. Kind of feels as if I'm working in Photoshop. You know, you kind of move your graphics, change the text, put in new videos or photos, that kind of thing. And Wix.com is actually the sponsor of today's video. So if you guys want to find out more, then just uh, follow the link in the description. At uh, first, you're going to have to create an account, obviously, with Wix, uh, so you can start building the website. And now, I already started sort of working on this website for Garage Filmmakers, but I didn't really get far. And again, this is so quick that just for this tutorial, I'm going to create a brand new site and kind of take you along uh, for, through all the steps. You can just click Create New Website. Uh, and it's going to ask you to basically put in the information, like basically what is it that you're looking for, uh, what kind of website you want to build, and all that stuff. Now, this is the, you see, the free website builder version. Like I said, I've already paid for this one, so it's a, it says premium up here. So that obviously I want to use that one because with the free one, you you kind of can create a website, but it sits on the domain under Wix, and and you're also going to have all the like the actual like the, the, the logos of Wix and all that stuff. So if you want to have your own sort of independent website, so as you can see, I already created the, the basic website here. I published my domain, even though it's not ready, connected the domain. So I, you obviously have to buy a domain, which I did all that actually through Wix. Uh, then I still have here, it says for like setting up the website, like help, they have tools to help you find, find it on Google and things like that. Um, but anyways, I have this website, but I'm basically going to start from scratch. So I'm going to create new website uh, because whatever I did there did not look very good. <laughs> so um, what type of website? Well, this one's going to be portfolio, I guess we'll go under. I'll just click that, click next. So create your own website with an editor. I think I'm going to choose this option. So edit a template. And that's why I remember like when I did my personal website years back, I, I like you know using Wix simply because they do give you these templates that are even if you don't know anything about like coding for you know like HTML and things like that, you can still work with it and uh, and kind of it's, I find that it's very visual. You just kind of type in you know what you, the the text that you want to type in, put in the graphics that you want. So I'm gonna go here. They have like under creative, they have see different like things. Subcategories, I'll look for film and TV. And I think this is the one that I actually like. As you can see, there's lots of different templates, but anyways, I'm gonna go with this one. Click edit. Wait for it to load. And here it is. So it gives you, see these little tabs here, so you can edit everything. Um, and what's the first thing I want to do? So in here I see they have it set up so that it's like a first main page, shows you samples, I guess, of your work you can have there. Which here, you know, I might just put like our latest music video. Uh, and then stream, coming soon, catalog, all that stuff. So we don't need some of these pages. So first thing I'm going to edit is those pages. So let's see which pages do we need. If I click on catalog, this could be like our our past work, but this is under this sub menu. I definitely don't need this one. 
second. Oh, okay. I guess that's the latest one. You just click on it, it takes you to that page. So I'm going to just rename that, right? So I'll name that um, latest video. And then in here too, I can see, I can edit this. And let's see, put your videos in the spotlight. Oh, okay, so you can right now, hold on. I'm going to, well, actually, let's see. Channel one video. Add a new video. So I can upload a video here or embed a video from YouTube. So for this one, I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm going to embed one because we have here, uh, here I have some information. So for example, music videos. Well, our latest, latest one hasn't come out yet, but this one's for Neo Garcia. This one, I don't know, let's, let's see, I'll put this one right now. Again, I got to sort of organize, obviously, know which materials for what. But anyway, so I'll go copy this, the URL, and I'm going to put the URL here. So add video. So now that video is showing up here. So yeah, that's nice. And it shows you the name of it and all. So I, I guess what's good about this is that in the future, I don't wanna have to change the text, nothing. I can just, you know, put a new uh, video link or I could put even a few of them. So I could say whatever, our demo reel is here and things like that. But in here, that's how I'm gonna see it, leave it. So this will be our, let's say our latest video. Um, then here I'll put some of the other like past videos that we had of and works and, and some of the films we shot. But in here I want to now let's see. Okay, so we'll go back again to the pages menu, and I want to sort of organize the the pages. So again, latest videos there. Uh, what does this go to? So this takes you to what is it? Stream and buy page. So we don't really need something like this because we don't have a, we're not going to have a store on our website. So I can just delete that page. So delete it. Um, and yeah, see, pretty straightforward. <laughs> so I have these pages now. So catalog, that'll be our, so we have latest video, maybe our, um, I guess I could just leave catalog. I don't know. I can rename that afterwards. Let's see if I rename it here, but it makes a difference there. Let's say past videos. Yeah, so see, it just changes the name there right away. About us, so our thing would definitely want to change. But then you see up here, you have your catalog page and you click on that. So that I'm, I'm going to browse our work. So that will be good. Here I can put in some description, contact us, which will take us to the, the contact page, I'm assuming. And then here I can basically put in, you know, and change again all these videos, uh, sort of how I changed it on the main page. Uh, then I'm going to go to the About Us page. So here's where I want to definitely change stuff. So uh, right away here, I'm going to just double click it, go Crash Makers. So I can see I can change my font. Although I think I'm pretty good with that one. Yeah, I'm not going to mess around with it. I, I like the look of the website. So there, um, <clears throat> oh, for the website, I want to put in um, some information about us. So, and I want this to fit on one line so I can, I think I can adjust the length of this. Yep, welcome. That's good. And now we've got to start taking out the things. So first one, I'm going to put our our main director, then your one. Uh, so I got to upload his photo. So I'll go change image. And I'm going to go here. We can just oh, okay. We can drag drag and drop the files. So I'll go in here and let's see. Maybe one of these pictures. So we can crop it right in here, which is good. So 
like a nice shot here of Danny working with the camera. Go like this, save it. Choose image and that updates it. Oh, nice. And even like to give it that look, it converts it to black and white, which is good. Um, then I'm going to add our producer here. So I believe I also have the image here. So I'll just go change the image. There it is. Okay. So now I think it's better when you go people of Garage Filmmakers and it kind of shows you right away all of ours right next to each other. And that's it. Okay, so I think that looks good. Uh, and then maybe the next thing I'm going to edit is uh, the logo here. So again, change image. And I'll load in my own logo here. Where is it? Not even sure what formats they support. I think they support most formats, but anyway, so I'm going to have this PNG file. So it has a transparency. So let's see, choose image. Oh, okay. Seems like it's working. Maybe just. Oh, well, it's the cropping doesn't work. Oh, okay, because it's like that. Garage filmmakers, okay. And then, what is this? Oh, maybe you can make it bigger. That'll be better. So I think somewhere here the the logo looks good. Again, you know, it's a process, right? Obviously, you're going to be going in and tweaking it and adjusting it. But I think somewhere here, I might actually just do a version with just the logo and then without the garage filmmakers written. Uh, because that font, it's like a font that we created for the logo, but I don't know if that actually... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this fits with the whole look of this website here. So I'm actually going to put our latest project like right here. So this is the first thing you see. And then up here I changed it. Basically this this page, when you click it, it will go scroll down. And I will actually show you the, the demo reel here. So basically this video I want to put up here. So I'm just going to change the... What is this? change strip background so I'm going to put an image and upload our image which I've got here so there it is so that will be our latest project so you can just put in the name and all that stuff and this will be good because we can easily update this, right? Whenever we have like a new video that we're thing. And this one, maybe move it up a little. Scroll up. This line also shorten it. There we go. All right, and then, so that means that uh, here, because I want that to be the demo reel, I want to change that again, manage videos. So I'm actually going to upload a video here. Garage Filmmakers demo reel. Let's put the demo reel, or maybe 2021. Um, let's see if I can change the cover to something different. Maybe put this one. And let's click save. All right, so I'm just going to select this as the video and close it. And let's see if it updates. Oh, yeah, it did. Wow, okay, and the resolution looks better. So I actually love this kind of layout because basically, well, I guess, a one page right here on the front page, you have your latest project, you have kind of a preview of all your videos that you know, you've done or your work. And then right below that, you have your demo reel, which is the most important probably, like to be able to show your work conveniently, because uh, especially when you're creating a website where you're trying to attract potential clients, you want to make it as convenient, uh, as basically straightforward as, as possible for them to just see your work. And if your work is good, that will usually convert to them becoming your clients. Uh, so that's why you know you don't want to have a website that's complicated, has a lot of pages or, or things where they have to scroll. Now, as you can see with this layout, we still have other things. So if they can see 
I guess they click projects now, they'll be able to go to that page and, and see in more detail kind of like what all the different projects we've done, which again, I'm gonna fill in all the stuff. Uh, you know, then uh, again, very important about us, like who the hell is for Garage Filmmaker, so you wanna have all that information here. Uh, and then the same thing with, uh, with be able to contact you, which like I said, I'm gonna be updating that hopefully with like an email form because I'd rather just not put straight out on my website my, my phone number or my email. But anyways, our website here is done. Uh, you know, um, yeah, I can, you can see I can make like slight adjustments here, move the logo this way, that way, just to make a thing. And, and usually the process, at least I know when I'm working on these websites, I kind of go back and forth, like I'll post it, see how it looks and all that stuff, which you have a preview button here. I actually have it already, like I paid for the domain, so I'll just click publish. And just like that, it's been published. So garagefilmmakers.com. So let's go check it out. And there it is, finished website. Uh, well, actually this one's not the finished website, but I'm gonna show you guys right now how my actual final, final website looks. Uh, you'll notice that on the front page, I added a little basically like a video playing in the background instead of having a still photo. Now on the contact page, I actually added this form that you can fill in and that will send us an, an email. Uh, and this was uh, very fast to do, again, because of all the presets and kind of these um, applications already that are within Wix.com. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want, just check out my website, garagefilmmakers.com. And if you're thinking about building a website yourself, uh, then definitely check out uh, Wix.com by clicking the link in the description of this video. My name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.